Hey guys, it's Anthony from The Rag Company and welcome to Wash Wednesday. Today I'm here with Braden. And Braden, what kind of car do we got? We got a 2016 Ford Fiesta ST and this is Rio by Orangutan. I can't believe you've done this. Braden, so you are not new to YouTube. You have a YouTube channel. I do. It's just called Braden Carlson, and we just uh, pretend we know how to work on cars. Check, <laughs> check, check him out. He's a big deal. So anyways, dude, you just got this car. I did. Like this week, right? Five days ago, yeah. Man, you're in that honeymoon phase right now. Oh, yeah. Life's good. I don't hate it yet. You don't hate it yet. Perfect, yeah. right? And you mentioned that you watched it. No, I was actually pretty upset when you said you'd watch that video because I was like, damn it, I really didn't want him to see what happened because yeah. I just... It was a little embarrassing. Was... You should check it out. <laughs> so we're going to be doing a two-bucket wash method. We're going to be foaming the whole car with our AK Foam 9. We're going to be using some pretty cool wash mitts. We're going to be using a product called Pearl by PNS, which is an awesome car shampoo. It's been one of my favorites and it foams pretty nice as well. And then after that, we're going to be using Bead Maker, which is also by PNS, and that's going to be protecting the car because at this point, we don't know if it has any wax or sealant or anything on there, right? Right. But it does have clear bra. Yes. So you got that going Everywhere. for you, which is nice. <laughs> so. We're gonna go ahead and knock that out, hit the wheels, get everything cleaned up, and then probably go for a drive. Absolutely. All right, let's go for it. All right, dude, so I got the hose, you got the IK Foam 9. So the car isn't super dirty, as you guys can see, it's just lightly dusty, but there is some, there's some dirt on it. Like you said, you didn't do the best cleaning job. So we're gonna do a pre-spray with the water, then we're gonna foam it. And you haven't used that before. I have not. So I'm pretty excited to see his reaction. So first things first, to help you guys out with your OCD, we're gonna flip up these wiper blades here if oh, you wanna yeah. grab that. I know we actually had a comment on here saying that they're always happy that we do this because this is an important part of the detailing process. All right, guys, so time is of the essence. If you can't tell, we're working in direct sunlight. We have a very short period of time to get this car cleaned up. So we're probably not gonna do a ton of talking during the wash process, but uh, we're gonna save that for hopefully the drive. For anybody that's curious, we are foaming the Pearl by PNS inside the IK Foam 9. So let it rip, dude. Yeah! Damn, son. Yeah, keep it going. So for anybody wondering, we are using the wet foam setting on the IK Foam 9. The drier foam has a little bit more cling to it, a little bit more shaving cream-like. We just wanted to have the wet foam do a little bit more work at pulling the dirt and stuff off the surface, especially being on a black car. It just goes forever. Okay, so while Braden is using the Foam 9 and being very occupied with the foam, he has some foam obsession going on right now. It's so, hey, it's so fun, dude. It's so fun, right? <laughs> it's a foam and good time. So while he's doing that, I'm gonna start cleaning the wheels because like I said, we're in direct sunlight. I'm gonna be using Power Clean today. Getting these ST wheels sprayed down. I'm gonna be using our very green Ultra Soft wheel brush. Got a little bit of soapy water inside here. Just using that to Clean these up. Oh, you didn't you didn't clean the wheels, did you? I didn't. These are dirty. All I right. sprayed them with a pressure washer. <laughs> All right, hey. But it's nice because the big spokes make it make it easy to clean. And it's a Ford, so you can only stop the brake dust for so long. Ah! <laughs> hey, watch it over there. My bad. Getting too foam happy, man. You gotta do what has to be done. <laughs> it's getting in my hair. It's getting in my <laughs> face. Wait, we're talking about foam, right? So what's absolutely incredible here, he's only managed to use about three-fourths of the soap and water in here. So that was the fill line. That's where he's at now. That's pretty impressive. Am I right? Yeah. No, I, I love it, dude. All right. Do you mind if I, can I have a little fun with oh, this? Oh, yeah. I mean, Foam guys, life. I mean, I still have a blast using these things. So we're going to do this. Then we're going to soap up the whole car, right? We're going to rinse it off. Sound good? Yep. All right, so we have foamed the car multiple times over. 
You foamed it once, twice. I foamed it like three times. And believe it or not, we still have product left in the IK Foam 9, which is just insane. It's hot outside. We have direct sunlight on us. We need to get this thing washed. So, Braden, have you done a two bucket wash before? I have not. You have not, okay. Have not. You kind of understand the concept based off the name or? You got a dirty bucket and a clean bucket. That's, that's as far as my knowledge goes. Yeah, that's, 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 that's pretty good, that's not bad. So, <laughs> we have a bucket full of soap and we have a wash pad in here, we have a wash mitt. In here, we have just water. The idea is wash the surface, wash a panel at a time essentially, so like mm. a hood or a, a door or a fender. And then we're gonna go back into the rinse bucket, dunk it in there, get all that dirt and grime off it, wring it out, uh -huh. all right? And then go back into our soap bucket and then back onto the surface. It reduces the amount of contamination and makes it a little bit safer. And it's nice because we have a grit guard at the bottom of each bucket. Oh, and last but not least, top to bottom. That's what we always work, right? It's always the best way to start in pretty much everything in life. So. Grab up top here, and then we'll work way down. All right, You're making my dreams come true, dude. Isn't I've this... never put a wash mitt on my hand before. Really? Oh, you don't have to. You can always tuck the cuff in if you like. Some people prefer it that way. You know, it's all user preference. We try to tell people, you know, it's a microfiber product. Don't get, don't take it too seriously. There are rules, and you have to adhere to them. I know somebody's gonna say, "Hey, Anthony, you're washing your car with a watch on." Guys, I'm a professional. I've done this many, many times. So. Uh, I wouldn't worry about it. It's also a rubberized watch, so I think we'll be fine. It's always good to address the hate before it happens. Yeah. <laughs> I know you guys are going to hate, and people will still say, Are you wearing a watch? I'm like, Did you not see me address it? No, I didn't watch the whole thing. Yeah, I know. Exactly. <laughs> I posted a video or a picture of the curb wheel on Snapchat, and this guy's like, Yo, is that yours? I was like, Yeah. He's like, When's the video come out? I was like, Yesterday. <laughs> Unless it's about a Honda, no one wants to watch it. <laughs> All right, so Braden, what made you want a Fiesta ST? And the reason why I ask that, because this is mostly Focus ST territory, at least from what I see around here. Oh yeah. So what made you want a Fiesta? I had always sort of had this disdain for STs in general. Okay. Just because the people you see driving them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, be honest here, it's just uh, YouTube. They gotta have a mod, at least two batteries stacked. Uh, <laughs> If you're not running a Mountain blow off valve spacer, you're not driving your Fiesta or Focus ST properly. You know, that kind of just stuff. That just that kind of loud. stuff. I have okay. a turbo car. It's those not are very, actually that Those are very fast. specific things though. So, okay. So, all right. What made you shift your mindset then? Well, I drove a Focus ST and I was like, okay, I get it. And then I test drove a Fiesta ST a few years ago. I didn't like it. Okay. Which is interesting. And then, uh, just a little bit ago, my buddy Garrett picked one up and uh, I was looking at buying a newer car and I was like looking at, you know, like Dodge darts and things. And he's like, don't do that, buy an ST. And this one so happened to come up and I was like, you know, it'll be a good daily. Okay. And then when I got it, I was like, okay, I like this car a whole lot more than I thought I was going to. All right, yeah. So really nothing made me want it other than someone saying I should get one. Okay. And cool. I gambled in one. Nice, all right, cool. <laughs> and so you said the black, that necessarily wasn't your choice, but that's just kind of what you found, right? Right, and, and I do, if I was going to pick one, I probably would have said I wanted a black one, but you know, it just so happened that this one was fairly close and a really good price and had low miles, so. Nice, and where you traveled to go and get this, didn't you? Yeah, I went to Pasco or Pasco, Washington, however you want to pronounce that. All right, so a decent little cities. trip, right? Okay, yeah. It's, it's more fun, like, road tripping to get a car. Yeah, exactly. Right? You makes get, it more you of an event. You get the whole road trip back to get to know it. Yeah, so like, what was your first, like, I guess, impressions of you driving it home? Like, what were your thoughts on it? I, like, the first time I hit boost, I was like, that is a lot more chooch than I thought it was going to have. 197 horsepower, not the fastest thing in the world, but... It's not the slowest either. It, no, yeah, it's it's torquey, is what's crazy. Is if you've ever seen the RCR video, he just talks about how it's like a little kid pulling on his dad's arm. Just like, let's go, let's go, let's go. And, it, and it's perfect. <laughs> that's like the that perfect That is exactly way. what a Fiesta ST yeah. is. It will be looking at, that's like the perfect way to describe yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just a happy car. Yeah. Because what other cars do you have? Because on your channel you have a bunch of cool toys. I got a big turbo 86 Volvo 740. That's my drift car. I've got a 1979 Volkswagen Rabbit that I'm building a Mark II Golf GTI engine for. Ooh, okay. I've got a Porsche 944 coming soon. I've got Mazda Miata that's lifted for now. So you got a, a pretty Pretty, I wouldn't say strange variety of yeah, vehicles, yeah. but you know, you definitely got some oddballs a in there. Bit of everything, yeah. right? 
So that's pretty exciting. So this was mere more like get in touch with what's going on. Right. I don't want to say the real world, yeah. but like what everybody Welcome else is to doing. modern times. Modern times. Yeah. Okay. Like what? Like what's your what's your next step? You have it because I doubt it's going to stay stock for long. Well, I already did the first mod. I did some lightning on the wheel with a curb. <laughs> It wasn't my best decision, or even a conscious one, but, uh, you it's gonna know. Haunt, it's gonna haunt you too, you're always gonna remember yeah. that. Oh, I, as soon as it happened, my buddy's like, you want me to look at it? I was like, no, I want you to see how much new wheel is. Just, just do it, yeah. The beginning package, Mountain Tune doesn't void your factory warranty. Oh, okay, is that like that with all it. Ford cars, or is that, cause that's, I mean, that's a pretty popular, like, ex like I guess a package, something that people yeah. do is to do the mountain tune for like the right. RS, for example. Yeah, exactly. But uh, basically what was explained to me was like tunes and everything, when installed by a professional, won't void the warranty, but as soon as you take the turbo off or take the engine apart, then you're done. Oh, okay. All right, do anything a little, a little crazier yeah. there. But that's still pretty nice if they give you that, uh, you know, that much though. Yeah, which is exactly. Pretty cool. So, I washed this car twice over. It's a pretty small car. Yeah. You washed it yeah, twice I was, over. I was like, all right, well, let's I guess start we're rinsing this because again, we're in direct sunlight. Luckily, we're using a pH balanced soap, so we don't have to worry about any type of uh, staining going on with the soap. All right, guys. So we just finished rinsing off the car, and it's hot. The sun's beating down on us, and time is of the essence. So we got to dry this thing. So this is the Twistress. Ooh. Realistically, this. Towel could probably dry this whole car off twice. It's a it's a pretty crazy towel. It's super absorbent. So, you reviewed a product or two on your day, right? I have. In, in your channel, you've mm -hmm. reviewed some stuff. I want you to give me an honest review of this towel. All right. I mean, if you say it's horrible, then you can leave. But I mean, okay. hopefully, you say it's nice and you know you like the towel. Boy, but, I already have good feelings about it. Oh, good. So we're gonna start off on the sides of the car, right? I always tell people, especially in direct sun, hit these first because these larger bodies of water are gonna stay still. So let's hit this whole side of the car first, and then work on the other side. Cool. Wow, this water is drying extremely fast. So we're making quick with it because we are planning on coming back and adding an extra topper on top of the car. So we want to hurry up and get this done. <laughs> this, is, this is like worst case scenario, of direct sunlight. Now I remember why uh, there were certain days we had to not do wash Wednesdays because it gets <laughs> insanely hot out here. Cause it's just impossible. Yeah, pretty much. This is ridiculous. The heat or the towel? The towel. Ridiculously good, right? Yeah. Why did I buy a chamois? See what I, well, yeah, why would you buy, you, I think I saw a chamois in your car and I was a little disappointed and heartbroken to see that. I Can you explain? It it's kind of like, <laughs> you know. It's not mine, I'm holding it yeah, for a friend. I swear. For such a small car, I feel like, I feel like it's much bigger. Like visually it's a small car, but drawing it, I'm like, there's a lot on this thing. Do you want to see exactly what I was talking about with the trunk, or the trunk spoiler? Yeah. Oh, look at all that. It just holds it, all it just on in there. Holds it all in. <laughs> and me opening the hatch just pulled a bunch of water out of places. Damn it, Ford. All right. Front of the car is looking done. Getting the lower area, saving those for last. Still using the same towels. All right, I'm gonna go grab a drying towel to hit these wheels, get those dried. So since we already washed the car, and the wheels still had some water on them. I wanted to dry them, but I didn't want to have to re-wet the wheels with the hose because I don't want to get any overspray. So for that, just use a little instant detailer, hitting the wheels really quick, and following up with a black creature edgeless. Okay, Woo! wow, that's hot. All right, so we're having Braden pull the Fiesta ST into the studio here because it was so hot out there, and with that being black paint, I want to get that inside here in the shade. Makes the application process a little easier and it keeps it from smearing. So here he comes. All right guys, so we're back in the garage. So we pulled the car in because it was just way too hot outside and we didn't want to be applying a bead maker out in the direct sun. I'm really excited to use this product and you have no idea what you're in for yet. I don't. So you're gonna have a good time, but a towel here for you. So that is called the Eagle Edgeless. That's a 600 GSM. A very nice towel, it's super plush. It feels nice. It feels nice, I right? Like That's one that you'd want to be like a blanket or a pillow. Yeah, for yeah, sure. You're right. You're right. So I want your full experience. <laughs> I want your reaction here. So like, come over here, right? This All is right. a good area. So um, go ahead and do a couple sprays here on the hood. There you go. And then just put the towel onto where the bead maker was applied, and then just start buffing it in. Just. Yep. So what this is is this is essentially a spray sealant. Mm -hmm. So like, there's spray waxes. This would be a spray sealant. So after you've buffed that area, now flip the towel over and kind of level it all out. There you go. And what are your thoughts? Buttery, dude. But it's not bad, right? No, Smells yeah. good. 
So Bead Maker does last a couple months and it does exactly what it says it does. It makes beads. beads. Okay. So, yeah. yeah, pretty nice. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and apply this over the entire car, spray it pretty liberally. We can hit the windows with it. We can hit the paint. We can hit all the rubber and trim and everything um, and then follow up with this towel, buff it off. And then at least we know that your car is protected because again, we don't know if there was any wax. It didn't look like there was any wax based off of that water, mm -hmm. how it was reacting out there. So this gives you some protection and then eventually you want to do a paint correction, right? I do, yeah. I kind of showed you some swirls with a scan grip and once you saw it, you couldn't unsee <laughs> it. So sorry about that. But paint correction would fix all this and then it really just comes down to maintaining it with decent product. So Bead Maker cures, and I believe it's eight hours or eight or nine hours, it says it on the bottle, but it cures in that amount of time, meaning that once it's cured, that's when you get the full amount of protection. And so if we were to have applied Bead Maker out there as we were drying, which is something we could have done, um, they say that you don't get the extended protection that you'd normally get if you do it on a dry surface. So that's why we're doing it inside while the car is dry. All right, Braden, so the wash is officially complete. Car looks good. It does look good. Thing, not bad, right? And yes, guys, we know that the car hasn't been corrected. We know there's still swirls and whatnot. It was still a good time, still learned some stuff. For so sure. you're no longer gonna just spray the car down with soap and water, right? No, no. Probably two bucket method? Yeah. And what was your favorite part of the wash? Uh, definitely the bead maker, just. Smooth, right? Yeah. It's... Icing on the cake. Oh yeah. There you go, man. <laughs> so anyways, there's one final portion of the series that we like to do and a, a big question, which is, can we go for a drive? Absolutely. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, so we are in the Fiesta ST. We were just left, and uh, so far, first impressions of the car? This is nice, man. Yeah. It's like compact. It's Everything is so close to you. Everything, like the navigation, all of the air, air control units, um, you know, the shifter's right there. Yeah. You know, obviously, this is a new car, right? How many miles does it have on it? 17,000, almost okay. exactly. So clutch feels brand new, steering oh, yeah. wheel, all that feels brand new. Oh, yeah. And so it's a little bit different than the cars you've been driving, right? For sure. Steering is a little more responsive, yeah. right? Everything's just a little bit tighter. When you picked it up and you started driving on, like, what, like, what were your thoughts on? I mean, did you just did you just enjoy it? The fact that it wasn't a Miata, the fact that it wasn't <laughs> a Volvo. Like, well, like I said, the first thing that I realized was it like was quicker than I thought it was going to be. I'm still not going to call it fast, but it wakes up yeah. and it goes a lot more drastically than I expected. Yeah. Ride quality, you know, it's funny because like you feel the bumps in the road, and everyone's like, "Oh, the ride quality is so stiff." I'm like, I can, I can feel the bumps. You've as never well. been it's in a car bad. with actual stiff suspension. This is like rich people stiff. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been in a Focus ST, right? Yeah. And, I, and I've driven one of those, and that was really fun. And I really like the seats in those because those come with Recaros. And I guess if you wanted to, you could always swap those into the car and it would match, right? And yeah. say ST on there it. There was actually an cool. uh, option for the Fiesta head Recaros. My buddy oh, has the Recaro okay. seats. Okay, that makes sense. So All right. a lot of people will find wrecked ones and swap the Recaros in it. But Absolutely. Worth I like it. that these ones don't have side bolstering on the bottom because I figure I would just wear it out for as much as I get in and out of this car. And that's kind of the curse and blessing of bolstering is that, you know, it's nice when you're driving it, but getting in and out is kind of a pain. Right. And then everybody knows that person who sits on the bolster and that's a huge no-go. You know, you, yeah. you, you don't do that, but there's always going to be that person that says, oh, these seats are weird and they sit on the bolster and bounce up and down yeah. and just makes me cringe inside. Yeah. Um, the interior is, like I said, it's basic but yeah. it's got some cool features to it uh, so new to the keyless ignition thing that i was like i mean this is cool and all but like why would i want my key to just be in my cup holder all the time i was like yeah. oh wait it can be in my pocket hey Holy right hell, yeah this is incredible <laughs> but no i mean everything feels really comfortable it smells it smells like a new car inside it here and it's, it's just a really fun car to drive we were talking to dane about you know getting the st on here and he said uh, in his opinion and uh, many other people's opinions that the Fiesta ST is actually the best ST yeah. because of power to weight ratio, you know, kind of what you get for the price. Right. Oh, and the funny thing is when I bought it, I didn't realize the cult following that these had 
I was oh, like, I bet there. Oh, I absolutely. I can't wait is. for yeah. the comments to be people like, oh, why didn't you just get a Focus if you're gonna get an ST, and then it's all just, oh my God, yes, a Fiesta Focus is terrible. Like, yeah, people are like 800 bucks and a Fiesta is faster than Focus. Like, <laughs> good call. I'm like, okay. Yeah. I just bought it because it was cheaper. Yeah, I think an exhaust on here would really wake it up. I oh, think for it, sure. I think it would sound awesome if you threw on an exhaust because it's like you said it's quiet, but uh, you, you're telling me about a feature though. Well, I don't BMW does it a lot, but basically they're pumping in sound from the intake into the cabin. So when you get on it, like you hear it. More. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so I was like, damn, this intake screams. Yeah. And then I saw in a video that they have that, and I was like, oh, I've been bamboozled. <laughs> now you can hear it a little. Okay, yeah, you can hear a little sneeze, yeah. Is that, yeah. An, is that an NB it Miata? An NB. I think we can race them. I think we could destroy them. <laughs> I have a Miata, I'm allowed to say that. This car is definitely faster. <laughs> Some wheel spin there, yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. It's so Dude, much more planted. It than, is. Yeah, it's awesome. That's great. That's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, it just goes. Wow. Like, what was the analogy? Like, you know, some little like, kid pulling little on kid his dad's arm because like, he wants like, to hey, leave. Let's yeah. go. Let's go. Yeah. And it does. And it, and it goes. Yeah, it, it surprises you. <laughs> and it handles. This is, it in the first. No, this is awesome. And it breaks and it stops. It does. Yeah, it's like I said, there's a lot more to it yeah. than I thought there was. Holy smokes, dude. That's awesome. Yeah, it's so fun to drive. Like, no, I, yeah, I'm not even driving it. I'm probably just as much fun in this as some of the other high horsepower cars I've been in just because it feels go-kart like. Yeah. yeah. I can do this all day. Like I said, it surprised the hell out of me. I was like, and all right, this is way better than I wanted. Yeah. Like, wow. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. You know, it kind of took the breath, my breath away for, right. for a second there, hitting a couple of those turns, but the suspension, it's, it's planted. Oh yeah. Here on Wash Wednesday, we, uh, like to add some production to our, to our videos, right? You like to do some things. No, that's what I, the first time I watched one was with Anthony's Miata, and then I watched the GT350R one, and I was like, if subscribers are automatically drawn to production quality, your channel would be huge. It's unfortunate that they're not. Yeah. But we, we try our best to get the best of both worlds. It's really, really well done. I do love we, watching. We do what you can, guys. We're just a towel company, so you know. <laughs> Dude, this thing's fast. <laughs> wow. All right, guys, so we finished up with the drive. I think that's gonna conclude this week's Wash Wednesday. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, dude, thanks for taking me for a ride. That thing's awesome. You got to wash the car. Yep. We got it uh, protected with bead maker, so it's gonna be protected for a couple months, so you have that going for you, which is nice. Yes. So anyways, if they wanna see more videos of the Fiesta and then what's gonna happen in the future with the car, where would they go? Uh, you guys can just find my YouTube channel, it's Braden Carlson, or you can follow me on Instagram at bigb1011. And those are my uh, main outlets for keeping up with what I'm doing. Right on, dude. Well, dude, thanks for being on the show, man. Yeah. I really appreciate thanks it. Thanks for having me. Yeah. It's fun. So if you guys like this video, hit that like button below. Subscribe for more. And as always, stay tuned for more videos right here at The Rad Company. Dude, I had fun too, man. Thanks for letting me, you know, rip around with you. That was a fun time, right? Yeah, it's a modest fast, right? It was, it was a good, do you say fisting me? <laughs>